Hi everybody, I'm Mike from Arcan Trailer. Today I'm showing you a brand new 2022 Heartland Bighorn 3502 SB. Big unit, beautiful luxury unit. Um, they made some nice revisions in the last year in the decor for uh, Bighorn, some really nice stuff. A lot of that's on the inside though. We're gonna start on the outside, lots to go over. Um, so right off the bat, you'll see nice new graphics package from Bighorn. You got the black and the gold kind of contrasting with the bit of off-white. Really, really sharp. Huge awning on this guy. Of course, that's all LED lit. Basement storage on this guy is massive, okay? So what they do is they actually integrate it <clears throat> with the uh, front storage as well. So it's all open inside. And that is a heated pass-through. This is a four season coach, as four season as we can be here in Alberta, that is. Um, but it is a four season coach. We do bring these in with the, what's called the Yeti package. I'm gonna go over a little bit more of that when we get inside. Um, right here, you have your auto level controls as well. So you can use that to use your six point automatic hydraulic leveling system. It's right there, right in front of the unit if you ever need to adjust it. And there's just a lot of cool little innovations in this guy, for example, having the um, baggage door come up a little bit higher and on these struts. You don't have to support anything yourself. You don't have to worry about any clips or magnets wearing out in time. This is nice and open, nice and easy to get into your uh, access there. Um, right underneath, you have a little sewer hose holder as well. Quick, easy access. And then right around back is the docking center that I'll show you towards the end of the video. You can see on the Bighorn here, they use the drop frame. So that's this extra framing that you see here. That's how you get the huge basement storage, okay? One of the largest in class. Frameless windows on this guy, of course, just like you see on most high-end stuff. Gives a nice tinted look. Wide entry door, solid stance steps, quad entry, it's a big unit. And they even put a larger grab handle that comes down. So you can actually reach it down here rather than having to reach way up here to grab, your, uh, to grab the grab handle. Suspension. Heartline goes with the Cree 3000 suspension. You should be able to see that right in between the tires there. So that'll give you an extra couple inches of play up and down, make towing really, really smooth with this guy. Pair that with the upgraded pin box that comes with it, and it's a nice ride. Just around back here. So all of them are equipped with a rear ladder. You can see that's really high up. <laughs> so um, Heartland's luxury fifth wheels, they all have one of the highest roof lines in the industry as well. So. They're all built on like similar to a toy hauler line where they have a really high ceiling and you're gonna see inside what that kind of gives you. Um, also in the back comes standard with a rear hitch. So if you wanted to put bikes or something like that back there, you can. And then of course, backup camera prep. All right, so we're just round back here on the Heartland Bighorn 3502. A couple things to see here. First, you're gonna see the upgraded hot water heater, 10 gallon, okay? And then your docking center. So. Not only do you have your outside shower and your TV hookups and all that stuff, but you also got your easy um, toggles for your winterizing, as well as what you're gonna do. I'll just show you, it's easier to show you than explain. But if you're dry camping, you just set it up. If you're doing city or tank fill, you just set your to um, toggle to where you wanna go and you just have one inlet. Keeps everything nice and clean, nice and simple. Your black tank flush is located here as well, as well as your water filter system. It's nice to have, if you don't want to have it, it's very easy to uninstall and bypass, um, but that is there, included as a standard feature with the Bighorn. And then you can just have another look, this is the backside of that pass-through storage, heated pass-through, lots of space. All right, welcome inside. Beautiful unit, nice grand feeling right when you walk in, huge ceiling height, okay? They've also got some of the tallest in the industry slide out. This is seven foot three inches high. So it's massive, really, really big in here. Um, really nice kind of tweaks to the decor. They, they did away with kind of the gray wash of everything um, that you know was really popular a couple years ago. Now they've got these nice kind of contrasting two-tone woods, dark accent with the light, all that kind of stuff. Um, instead of carpet, they've gone with the woven flooring that we're starting to see in a lot of units as well. Really easy to keep clean. For furniture, um, with this guy you've got, it's a, it's a recliner, power, Massaging, heated, it's got everything. <laughs> there's uh, USB ports, There's they're lit up, it's got everything built into that guy. And then back here, you got a fold out queen bed. So there's extra sleeping if you ever need it. Roller shades, standard blackout. Cabinetry all along, ceiling fan is standard. T 
TVs, you got the big 60 inch 4K Ultra HD TVs are standard as well. Um, and they come with the uh, Blu-ray player built in, 40 inch um, fireplace. And that's of course electric heat, 5,000 BTUs. 18 cubic foot gas electric fridge. So it is an option to go with the residential fridge if you want. Generally here at Arcan, we bring it in with the two-way fridge just for a little more versatility. Nice big fridge. Appliances, got the residential microwave. And um, new this past year is the Insignia oven. Okay, so four burner range, residential size, huge. You can put a little turkey in there even if you wanted to. Sink, you got the farm style sink. Of course, solid surface countertops and the butcher block island. Right when you walk in, nice little closet. A lot of floor plans are forgetting to do that. Um, just the way they kind of angled this out, putting the staircase in the middle, storage on either side. We'll get to that pantry when we get up there, but lots of extra space here for storage. A couple drawers. We can head upstairs. So here's some pantry space. This is nice and deep. I'll let you get a good look at that. Okay, and this guy's dual AC unit. So two air conditioners, and this uses the quiet, cool air conditioning. Um, so you won't see any air conditioning unit in the ceiling. You'll just see two air intakes. And that'll recycle the air inside the unit, work a little bit more efficient, use less power, be a little bit quieter, all that good stuff. Why don't you come on up and check out the washroom here. So nice radius shower in this guy. They don't even, uh, you know, cheap out in the bathrooms here. So it's still solid surface countertops, even in the washroom and the sink. Really, really nice, still with the black fixture, so everything matches. Lots of room around the toilet. Fantastic fan, all power, of course. Okay, go to the master. So you got a nice big slide out up in the master bedroom area. This is all extra closet space here. Then you have a sliding door to section that off and your king bed. You got the nice big nightstand on the one side and then a smaller one on the other side. USB ports on both sides. Headboard is backlit. Chest of drawers up at the front. Second TV is standard. And this guy has that second quiet cool air conditioner as well. So a lot of fifth wheels will maybe put a quiet cool in the back and then have a standard air conditioner in the bedroom. Really, really loud if you're trying to sleep with that on. This will be kind of a nice quiet hum. Washer dryer prep, if that's your thing. If not, just extra closet space. And they even give you a Dyson vacuum with this guy. Huge closet space up at the front. I'll let you take a look at that. A lot of little details in here that you can't even cover in a single video. For example, wireless phone chargers uh, in the bedroom and in the main room. Um, as far as construction goes, Bighorn's known, they use the Asdell paneling in their side walls. And then of course there's that Yeti package that I mentioned outside to get this thing down to a, you know, a four season unit. Um, what's in the Yeti package, so not only is it a 40,000 BTU furnace, one of the largest in the industry, but tank pad heaters, as well as heat tape along your main water lines. So that's a, a key thing that a lot of trailers don't do, a lot of the competitors don't do, that they miss. So it's not your big tanks out of the first to freeze up, of course it's your water lines. I'm Mike from Arcan Trailer, and I'll catch you next time.